Ladies and gentlemen, I have been waiting for this day for a really long time, October 13th to be precise, and now finally Pop OS 21.10 has been released to the public, so we're quickly going to go through the major things that they have added, that they have changed to create a completely different yet similar experience for Pop OS users and also try to create a cohesive experience for people who are entering into the Linux ecosystem through Pop OS. So the biggest change that they have made is the application library. So take four fingers if you have a laptop and just drag them from left to right. And there you have your application library. You could also use it with super plus a. So we're quickly going to go through this and let's see what it has. So basically in earlier versions of Pop OS, it was kind of drab to look at an entire screen filled with icons with a really not that great looking gray background. So, I mean, the gray background is still there, but this looks so much better. You have this neat little box and all your icons are way more compactly presented. And I think this is way better. And you also have folders. So basically the applications which don't have folders exist over here. And then you have office. I created this folder called settings. Let's delete it. Let's see how to create another folder. Basically click on this, type in whatever you want to, and then you have your folder. Drag an icon and put it on there. And once you click it, you have your settings folder. Now you can also search. Now this is native to GNOME, but I really like this implementation of it. So basically let's say you want Geary, so you have Geary. So now that we're done with the application library, let's quickly go to settings and we're going to check something really quick. Let's go to about. And as you can see, we are in 21.10 and this is the big version number jump that the Pop! OS team has made. We are running GNOME 40.4.0. This is not the latest version, but this is stable. This is fairly recent and it's going to be just fine. Now, most of you who keep track of software releases in the past few months, you would know that GNOME 40 has changed the workspaces from being vertical to being horizontal. So how does Pop! OS handle this? Well, Pop! OS like to keep things the way they were so that people would have a better time using the distro that they love. Pop! OS has basically kept workspaces the same. And as you can see, they are vertical and honestly, I like it. There's nothing wrong with it. And again, you have X11 windowing system. Now Wayland is great, but Wayland has a few issues. I mean, it's making strides as we speak, but if you're on an Nvidia graphics card, Wayland can have some issues and overall it's just not there yet. So from a usability standpoint, X11 is going to serve you just fine. And I am pretty sure that Pop! OS team will move the operating system over to Wayland when it matures. And by the way, this is a customization of the GNOME desktop as we saw because it's running GNOME DE. But then the Pop! OS team is also planning on launching their own desktop environment written in Rust. They have already hired people for that and I am really excited for it. Okay, now let's talk about some of the things that is on their website. So another major thing that the Pop! OS team has done is now you have better multi-monitor experience. So the application library will basically launch on the display that has your mouse focus. So this way you can keep your eyes on your current workspace and launch the application on the display that you intend. Now you also have continuous integration and this increases the speed of speed of building and releasing packages. And the Pop! OS team also hosts their own packages now, which is, well, if you don't know what this means, it's okay. But if you are knowledgeable about this, this has huge implications and this could mean better control over what they can do to their own operating system. All right. So now that we're done with this, let's quickly go over to desktop. And inside desktop, we're going to go to the dock. And by default, the dock, this is how it comes with. 
right? So you have this panel and you have your icons. And then one of the new things that they have done is implement a separator to distinguish your pinned apps and your non-pinned apps, if that's an English word. But this isn't how I like to keep it. I usually do this. And since I upgraded from 21.04 to 21.10, this is how I get the doc. Okay, and with that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. I did a video about Pop OS 21.10 beta on October 13th. So if you want to check out the differences between now and then, you can definitely head over to my channel and do that. And if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.